Hey guys, so if you want to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and look at my Amazon storefront, I will leave everything linked down below in the description box below. I am an avid listener on audio on Audible just because I don't like reading and I prefer having something in my ears in case I'm having my brother work or like I just like listening to it instead of like reading to me that's I like getting to know the story and feeling like I'm in the story and not reading it. This first author I love her name's Loring Blakely I love her books but mainly I love the narrator she chooses and ma majority of them I really I just based the books off of the narrators then the plot sometimes I do base it off the plot but majority of the time when it comes to romance novels the male narrators are always the first one I always think and I always whenever I see them I always say yes half the time I don't always end up getting every single book that my favorite uh, narrators end up doing just because one maybe it's the characters names just reminds me of my brothers or my sisters or ex-boyfriends of theirs and also two maybe it's just like a plot that I really don't like Starting off with this one, um, it's in a series. I did not listen to book one because I did not like the narrators. I mean, they're fine and all, but like I have my favorites and you know, so I didn't get those off that. So book two and book three are called Puck Yes and Thoroughly Pucked. I have not read the third book of the series, but I will because I already have it. And there's, I think like one or two more books I'm going to list off for you guys that I have not listened to because they're already in my catalog, but I have not listened to them and I literally am going through all of them. So I, the a majority of these I have listened to. Next one is from this author named Monica Murphy. It's called Lonely For You Only. Now this is like a series of the called like the Lancaster Prep and I have listened to almost every single book um in this series. I think I except for like one or two and majority of them honestly I really didn't like the the narrators so I just like would skip throughout the book. Next one is um this is also from Lauren Blakely. It's called A Real Good Bad Thing. That one, ugh, I love Jason Morgan, Teddy Hamilton, um, Zachary Weber. Um, there's other people that I forgot. There's, I think, one more under the, a different pseudonym name, but it's under with Teddy Hamilton. It's the same voice, which I didn't realize that um, people have different pseudonyms. Moving on to the next one. This one is called Only for Tonight, uh, The Rebel, The Rebound, Playing for Keeps, The Boyfriend Effect. Um, that is all those books are from Kendall Ryan. That is another female author that I love so much. Her writing, I love romance novels and also her narrators that she chooses or I, don't, I actually don't know how that works, but whoever read her books majority of the time i always end up listening to her i have like a few narrators that i always always like keep buying their books because they're just like so good and i love them moving on to this next one is this is under a um the author jamie mcguire and it's the beautiful disaster series now this one i only i have two of their books but i really prefer the a Beautiful Wedding, and now that is book 2.5, it's like a novella, it's like really short and cute. I really like it because one, again, it's short, but also mainly it was the narrator that I really liked a lot. Um, I did listen to the last one, it was like the funeral. To be honest, I really didn't care for the narrators just because, you know, I like my narrators, but it was like a good book. It did make me cry a little bit, but it was, I mainly just like skipped throughout the entire book. Moving on to this next one, 
It's called Bittersweet Memories, and it's by the author named Catherine Mara, I believe, and it's book four. I really enjoyed that one. Again, narrator is my favorite. This one is also from Lauren Blakely, The Good Guy Challenge. That was such a cute romance book. I love it. I love romance. My favorite uh, genre of books, to be honest. Next one. It's by this author called Hannah Cohen. I believe this is how I'm saying her last name. And it's her greatest mistake and her greatest adventure. And I really like those books. They are in a series. I think there might be one more. I, I'm pretty sure there might be one more coming out called like Her Muse or something. Um, that one hasn't come out, but I, if depending on if the narrator, if there's a good narrator that I like, um, I would definitely get that book. But if not, I really don't care, honestly. Moving on to the next book. I love this author. Why was that so hard to say? Her name is Trelina, I believe. Pucci? So this one is called Tangled and Tinsel and Not So Lucky. Now there's a third one coming out. I'm I'm for sure ordering the third one, but it's not coming out later um, in a few months. But when you guys see this, it will already be out. But let me tell you, those are some like steamy ones. I love me some good steamy scenes. Moving on to the next one. I, another author that I love so much, her name's Shayla Black. I have listened to almost every single book in the Reed Family and the Forbidding Confessions. Again, I really love Jason Clark. His voice is just so amazing. That is my favorite. And then it's Teddy Hamilton, Zachary Weber. It's just like, oh my gosh, the force is so pretty. Um, moving on to this next book, um, series. It's called The Vancouver Agitators. This one is from Megan Quinn, and she has another book, completely unrelated, but by the same author. The Way I Hate Him, Those Three Little Words, and Untying the Knot, which I have not read Untying the Knot, but I have it in my catalog, and I plan on listening to it, and I know I would like it because the plot sounds so good, and the authors I really enjoy so much. So I'm going to end it here just because I have way too many more recommendations. But again, a lot of them are just like repeated authors that I love. I highly recommend if you get Audible just to search up those names and like listen to the voices. And when I tell you, you will love their voices. And you just want to keep hearing them tell stories over and over. Like literally have so many books in my wish list currently i have like 51 books now they're not all narrated by this one person there are a few and then there's some that i actually i just want to know because i like their plot i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys next week bye guys